So people ask me how to vlog all the time. Catherine, how do you make such cool videos? Catherine, yours are the only videos I watch. How do I make videos like yours? Well, I thought I would teach you how to vlog by walking you through the complete and utter disaster that this week's vlog was. Yes, this vlog that you're watching right now, complete mess. Here's what happened. I got asked to speak at this event this past weekend in San Diego. I was gonna share the stage with big names like Dennis Yu, Tim Bird, Maxwell Finn, Blake Newbar, Andrew Crozy, and others. Of course I was like, duh, I'm gonna make a vlog out of this. Now, pay attention, here's where the money comes. So before I plan out my shots or my edits or anything like that, in order to make a video that people will not look away from, you have to first determine one thing. Story. Boom. What you gotta figure out is, what is the story you're telling? Now, people don't care to see some cool shots here or there. Well, they might, but they'll eventually get bored. Now, how do you tell a story where people are on the edge of their seats basically the entire time? Well, the solution, formula, my friends, it's actually quite simple. First, you gotta set up the story. Then, you introduce a conflict. Then that conflict has to reach a climax. And then when all hope is lost, dun, 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 you enter resolution. So basically I tried to do that for the San Diego vlog, but it was an utter fail. Now, before I walk you through this epic fail, I really wanna make sure you understand this formula. It will be the key to your video success. So I wanna walk you through just a couple more examples to make sure you really have nailed this thing down. Okay, do you remember the Operation Dropbox vlog I did. What was the setup? I needed to get Russell Brunson the box. The conflict, he was unavailable on stage. The climax, after many attempts at trying to get in the box, it looked like all hope was lost, but then the resolution, at a split second he was free and I rushed him on stage and I got him the box. Vlog complete, story done. Or do you remember this Offermind vlog I did? Same situation, I could have just shown you around the event, introduced you some cool people, but instead I told a story throughout the event. So the setup, I was determined to not make any fake phone calls during the event. Conflict, I'm a true introvert and I wondered if I could actually do that, do no fake phone calls during this. The climax, I tried to interact with some people, but the interactions went pretty poorly. I was a little bit nervous about it. Resolution, because I stayed strong and never did a fake phone call, I ended up having a lot of cool experiences, including Russell Brunch and calling me out from stage. Okay, do you see what I'm trying to show you here? So this weekend, I was about to go to San Diego, so I sit down, write on my paper, and I'm like, all right, Catherine, what are the parameters of the story that you're gonna tell? Now, to be honest, I actually really struggled figuring out what story I wanted to tell, and I was running out of time, needed to leave for my flight, so I eventually settled on this like, I'm adulting, I got a new apartment. Because of that, we're gonna adult in San Diego. Be brave. I don't know, it was something like that. But again, I was running out of time, so I started filming it. And because I love you, I will show you some of these painfully awkward clips. <sighs> so it took me 28 years and 11 months to become an adult, but I think we did it. Well, at least we're doing it. What does it mean to be an adult? I recently, as in the, within the last week, got a place of my own, moving in, but no! No! <laughs> okay. Okay, keep going. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Am I gonna break this camera? Okay, honestly, this is staying in because that's hilarious. Okay, is the camera broken? I don't know. Okay, basically what I was trying to say is as of this week, I moved to a new place by myself. I literally own nothing, so I've been furnishing it. But I do have a mattress, but it came from Amazon, so it has to fluff out for a few days, so. Anyway, here's the problem with that story. The problem with that story is I hated that story. Also, just like wasn't very authentic, and then I got to San Diego, and like the event was just like kind of different than I thought it would be, and like the adulting story just kind of like it just kind of like fell through. Ugh. Also, also I'm hungry. I don't know if you guys ever had these days. I had breakfast at 1.30, lunch at six. 
It's now almost 10 and it's time for dinner. So that's what's happening now. So I find myself like 50% of the way through this event and I'm like, I still don't know what story I'm telling here because that adulting thing just ain't it. So yeah, when you don't know what story you're telling, you don't know what footage to capture, which, you know, is a problem. Ah, nice. Okay, that's hot. We're just gonna let that there for a second. So here's some actual notes from the event. This is me like frantically trying to figure out my story. I was like, well, Alex S. Elliott's here. She's amazing. We're doing a joint venture and like we're promoting this whole thing while we're not even like working. Maybe we could do a story about that. I don't know. But then I was like, I don't, I'm not gonna do that. Like she came here to learn her stuff. And like when I make a vlog with Alex S. Elliott, which obviously will happen one day, I, it's not gonna be like some like rando backup vlog. It's gonna be epic. So I was like, mm, that ain't it. Also, this is really hot. So then I was like, I don't know, maybe I can like go around San Diego and tell a story. As you could tell, that did not, there were not a lot of ideas going on there. Now, to catch you up on the trip means that I'm now almost completely done with the trip and I still have no idea what the freak I'm saying in this vlog, which that's a major problem. Also, bon appetit. So while I'm on like the full-fledged struggle bus of not knowing what to do in my vlog, I'm like, well, it, I'll just I'll just get at least like the the key shots that I know that I should get. So I get footage of me traveling to the event. I get footage of the hotel. I get footage of me speaking. Footage of all the other speakers at the event speaking. Uh, I get footage of San Diego. my driver who picked me up and took me to the airport who fun fact not only did i feel the most fancy i ever felt in my life because somebody had a sign waiting for me but this man used to be the driver for elon musk you know i got some good stories you guys have the best news look who is my driver again ah for Elon Musk, the coolest, because the nicest guy. Anyway, so I'm basically 90 minutes away from having to leave for the airport, and I got nothing. Like, I have no vlog. But then, like a flash of light, I remember the framework. This entire situation of me not figuring out what story to tell is actually a story in itself. Ah! There was setup. I was gonna go to San Diego and was gonna try and make a cool vlog. Then there was conflict. The original story framework I came up with did not work. Then came the climax. I was only 90 minutes away from my trip ending and I still didn't know what to vlog about. But then came dun, 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 the resolution. I will vlog about how to vlog, showing people how even a failed vlog 
can be an epic story. And uh, here we are. I mean, let's actually take a look at this. You just watched an entire video about a supposed failed vlog. Why did you do it? You did it because it wasn't just a video. It wasn't just a vlog. It was a story. And that's how you connect. That's how you sell, that's how you impact. You tell stories and you let people be a part of them. So, everyone who watched this one, thanks for being a part of it.